Uh, so the way that the course will look kind of over the coming weeks is each week there will be a 10 to 30 minute video uh, explaining course ideas. There will be practice questions in your workbook. Uh, and then there will be some type of assignment that you'll submit, and that will be the, the assessment piece. Uh, so we're going to be focusing kind of on main ideas over these coming weeks. Uh, and yeah, if you do have any questions, uh, we have that stream on the Google Classroom. Maybe I'll post a video on the Google Classroom showing you kind of how to access that. Uh, but this week, uh, we are going to talk about free body diagrams. Uh, and then also we're going to be talking about two-dimensional forces and finally those free body diagrams. Uh, a lot of the questions you're going to be dealing with are things that are hanging. So, so this question, we have a sign. This Aperture Laboratory sign is hanging. Uh, and so it says the sign is 10 kilograms, wants us to draw a free body diagram, uh, show the vector addition, and also determine the tension in the wire. So remember we don't have any uh, formulas for tension. Uh, but let's start just by looking at this sign and look at the forces that are actually acting on it. So on this sign, we have this force going down here. Right? That's the force of gravity. I have this beam that's pushing off the wall. So that's kind of the restoring force. We could probably call that the normal force. And I drew it that way to the right because it's pushing against the sign. And then if we look at this wire, we're also going to have tension in the wire. And the tension will be up in the angle there. So there's three forces acting on that sign. Now this sign is not moving. Uh, so because it's not moving, there's no net force. The net force is equal to zero. What that means is when I add all of these forces together, so the tension, the normal force, and the force of gravity, I should get zero. The tricky thing with this type of question is we are dealing with vectors. So we can't just add the value of fg to the value of fn to the value of the tension because that's not how we add vectors. When we add vectors, we add them tip to tail. So when my vector addition should look like this, I have the force of gravity, that vector, plus my normal force, which is that vector, plus my tension adds up to zero. So you see, like if we were to think of this as displacement, right, I end up back where I started, my displacement is zero. All of these forces end up back where we started, our net force is zero. So there's no net force. Uh, actually acting on that sign. And it should make sense because it's a sign. It's staying there. It's not accelerating one way or the other. It's hanging there stationary. So now we need to analyze this triangle. And the next step is kind of determining angles and where they fit. Uh, the one thing to note when you do these vector additions is we shouldn't change these vectors at all. So my force of gravity is down there. It's down in the original diagram. That doesn't change. My tension is up at an angle. It's up at an angle here. That direction has not changed. Uh, and then also my normal force here is to the right, and it's to the right here as well. So all of those directions are the same. The other thing we need uh, is we also need some angles. Uh, if we look at our original diagram, right, this normal force meets this tension much in the same way as it does in our diagram down here. When those two meet, they make a 60 degree angle. So I know that this angle down here is 60 degrees. We also see that when the tension meets this vertical uh, plane here, there's a 30 degree angle. So we know that this angle is 30 degrees. 60 plus 30 is 90, which means the only thing left is a 90 degree angle that is here. Uh, so this is a vector addition. Uh, so let's just, I guess, go back to a, what is it asking for? A free body diagram. A free body diagram is kind of what we did in this first part, where it's just showing all the forces acting on it. And it's not necessarily a vector addition. 
This bottom diagram in the blue, now that is a vector addition. We've added all these vectors together, tip to tail. Now we have uh, a triangle. The last part now is to find the tension in the wire. Uh, let's first look here and see what types of things can we calculate. Tension, we can't. The normal force, in terms of this question, we have no formula for it. But I can find the force of gravity, right? The force of gravity is mg. I know the mass is 10 kilograms. G is 9.81. Uh, so my, my force of gravity will be 98.1 newtons. So I have my force of gravity now, and I also have a right triangle. Uh, when I look now at this triangle, I have this side. So I have this side here, and I want to find this tension side here. This tension side is our longest side. That's our hypotenuse. Uh, and then it really just de depends whether I want to use this 30 degree angle or this 60 degree angle. Uh, we have these trig ra ratios, so we have SOKATOA. And I heard you guys were doing pretty good with that. So so is sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Ka, cosine, adjacent over hypotenuse. Toa, tangent, is opposite over adjacent. So I can really pick which one I want. Uh, maybe we'll use this 60 degree angle, which would make this force of gravity the opposite side. And then this tension, which we're trying to find, that's our hypotenuse. So the sine of 60 degrees is equal to my opposite side, which is the force of gravity, divided by my adjacent side. No, sorry. My opposite side is force of gravity, divided by my hypotenuse, which is the tension. I do need to rearrange these equations, so multiply by t, so it's at the top on this side, and then divide by the sine of 60, so it's at the bottom of this side. So I have tension is equal to the force of gravity divided by the sine of 60 degrees. Now, just to refresh kind of how we got to this point. So we started with a free body diagram up top here. We know the sign's not moving, so the net force is zero. All we drew was all the forces acting on it. Then we moved to the bottom here in blue and we drew a vector addition. So when we add vectors, we always, always add them tip to tail. So the force of gravity down, plus the normal force to the right, plus the tension up at an angle, gets me back where I started from. I look at my initial diagram and I find some angles in that vector addition. When I know those angles now, and I know the force of gravity, now I can use a trig ratio to find out what the tension is. Uh, so the force of gravity was 98.1, and then I just divide by the sine of 60 degrees, and I get a tension of 113 newtons. So that's kind of how we do these hanging side sign questions, and that's going to be our goal this week. So there are three questions in your workbook, 15, 16, 18, uh, and then there's also going to be uh, another assignment that's posted on the Google Classroom. Uh, and I, the assignment this week will kind of be around that, uh, that, that, that one assignment that's posted on Google Classroom. If you do have questions, just take a picture throw it up in the stream and then I can kind of walk through that question and do some teaching with that as well. Like for sure this is something that we're probably going to get stuck with at times, uh, but if you do get stuck again, take a picture, put it up in the stream on the Google Classroom, uh, and then you can kind of work on the next one. And that stream will then be there with answers to kind of the questions that you guys have. So don't be afraid to ask. Uh, we're kind of all in this together and we'll just kind of, we'll do the best that we can over the coming weeks.